There's a really cool tool inside of Surfer SEO and it allows you to plan your content. So let's look at an example one here. We'll look at affiliate marketing. This is one that I've done in the past and it's going to show different keyword clusters. So for instance, I can do a bunch of sorting here. So I can, it's default is a sorted by most relevant, but I can also search like high uh, search volume. So let's go high search volume. And this may give me some ideas like uh, affiliate marketer might be content that I want to create. So I can open detailed view and see all the different keywords. I can also uh, have it create a content editor that's going to focus on affiliate marketer and these uh, different keywords to include. And I can select or get rid of things if I don't like them. And I can even do the natural language processing credits and I can just click create content editor and it's going to create a content editor inside of Surfer SEO, which will allow me to create better content targeting affiliate marketers. Now, other things that can be really useful. So uh, one of the things I really like is you can sort, you can filter out by how the intent. So like for instance, there's local customer investigation, informational and shopping. So let's do local and see what it gives me. So for instance, this one puts Santa Monica. So that's maybe not super related to affiliate marketing, but you can see how that could be useful where you could target localized uh, intent and that may be easier for you to rank for. Now let's do customer investigation. So this could be useful like best jobs to work from home. That could be a good article to cover if you want to talk about affiliate marketing. Easy side hustle could be another one. Free blogging platforms, maybe not so much. Business opportunities, obviously affiliate network, that could be useful. And then uh, I don't have an example of this for shopping, but shopping intent would be really good. It's probably going to be keywords like best and review and top and, and things like that, bonus, stuff like that. That'll be uh, as a, a keyword cluster. So that can be really useful. I can do the uh, keyword cluster ranges. So I can do like popular of, uh, you know, maybe they've got 10 or more keywords if I wanted. So that can help uh, narrow things down. Maybe I just want ones that have, uh, you know, a smaller phrases. So this one only has, um, you know, like five different ones to go after. So that could be a good way, like how to monetize blog, you know, search for 3000 times. Uh, the traffic score is a 67 and it talks about its difficulty. So this can be a way to, to kind of get going with stuff. You can also organize things by search volume. So you could say, hey, I want things that are just searched for at least 100 times. And that can be useful. Or maybe I want things that are like super popular. There isn't anything for affiliate marketing that's over a million. Let's do the 75 to 100K range. That gives you an option there. Why don't we do where we look at over 100,000 and just see there's a handful like Medium does talk about some partnership stuff. So I think that's why that, that showed up. MLM is kind of similar to affiliate marketing. So I see how that uh, could be a possibility that that has some potential there. And, you know, you're probably going to have better luck looking at some of these smaller ones just because a lot of people aren't going after these uh, lower low hanging fruit. Why don't we do the 100 to, to 500 range? Let's just see if there's anything in there. These would be really small ones, but a lot of people aren't going to go after uh, these particular ones. And these could be great articles for you to start with, with uh, conversion AI, because a lot of people aren't going to bother with these smaller search intent ones. And I'll give you a little practice with creating content using Surfer SEO and conversion AI to create something that's optimized. Maybe get a little bit of free traffic from Google before you start dealing with the ones that are getting thousands upon thousands of, of visitors and you can kind of get your feet wet with this tool. So that is a brief overview of how the content planner works. Let me show you another section over here that's really cool. So I can even do it for a domain. And so this has to be one of your own domains. And so I have uh, the Google Search Console uh, connected. And actually, I think I can enter any domain if I wanted. but if I want to have it go with my um, Google Search Console, I can have it show my own stuff. And so we're going to use this. I did this uh, like a month ago. I'm going to do it again because I've added a lot more content. And let's see what it does. So I'm going to create a content planner for this particular domain. And we're going to see what it does here.
So it's going to be searching for that information. And then once it loads up, we're going to be able to see some really cool stuff here. I'm going to do another one just to show an example um, of one that isn't on my own site. And we'll do conversion AI. And so it's going to do both. It's going to do, well, we'll see what happens there. I, I only put two W's, so we'll see how it does. I'm going to refresh and see if it's getting that done. Oh, it looks like it. Oh, interesting. So because I refreshed, it didn't uh, go against me. So I'm going to do it again. And then I'm also going to do it for my site. Now let's do conversion AI and see what it shows. Zero pages based on our database. So there's, I guess there was a little uh, issue with that one. It didn't have, probably because it's not in my search console. I'm guessing that's why. But we're gonna try it with my domain and see what happens here. I'm gonna pause this and once it loads back, I will show you what's going on. All right, it looks like this search finished. So why don't we check out my domain and see what it has. So it's got some pages entered in there. Got a little bit of information for, for some stuff. Let's look at, oh, there we go. Got rid of low hanging fruits. Aha, here we go. So this can give me some different options. So uh, looks like I'm getting some impressions for SEO minion. So why don't we try searching for SEO minion and just see if I'm getting any impressions there. There, so uh, I am I mean, I'm pretty far down right now, but I did, um, I just added like a transcript to this page. So that's probably why it's starting to, to rank in there. Uh, like here's another um, page of mine. That's an old page, but it's getting some search engine ranking. So it's getting some information. I'm gonna have to do some more SEO with uh, my site to, to get some more stuff going on here. But one of the beautiful things is they have this low hanging fruit section and I don't have anything right now, or here we go. So here's one, like this, how to download YouTube subtitles. So, um, you know, I could do some improvements to my page and like right now I'm a position of 47, but if I were to, you know, optimize with the content editor, I could optimize this particular page for like YouTube subtitles. And that may help me get a bunch of traffic to my site. You know, like here's a site or a page of mine that's a business opportunity leads. And um, I know that sometimes this one actually gets uh, some clicks from the search engines. This is an older um, post that a friend of, of mine put together. And, and we put this uh, on here. So, um, you know, I could do a little bit of optimization to, to this now that I've got different SEO tools. And, and this could help uh, get this to rank a little bit higher and get even more free traffic from the search engines. So that's something to, to, to play with. That could be a lot of uh, potential there because like I said, I, I do get uh, some clicks on that one. I, I know I, I've gotten some free traffic from, from that particular thing. So I, I do like that about the low hanging fruits. Let me get rid of the content score. And that may give us a little bit more information. Doesn't look like on mine right now, but if you had a site that you know, was already getting some search engine traffic, you could do a lot. Like this is a, a site that I've had for years, but I haven't really been putting content on it until recently. I've been putting a lot of content on it in the past 
like month or so where I've been creating a lot of training. So there probably isn't enough data in Google Search Console for this to really give us really good information. But let's say you had a site where you've been publishing for uh, six months or a year and you, you've got some stuff that's ranking in the search engines. You could use this to come up with even better ideas for your content so you can rank even better and you can take advantage of some of that low hanging fruit to get that free nice Google traffic to help you get even more traffic. So I hope that helps. I hope you find this information useful. This is a Surfer SEO and it works really well with a conversion AI to help you create better content. So click the links underneath this video and you can check out conversion AI and Surfer